Hey guys, today in this video we're going to learn how to do symmetry bugs. Let's get started. I hope you guys enjoyed that new intro. But uh, here we are as uh, we go on to the second grade project. Now, second grade, uh, they learn how to do symmetry. So I want to show you guys a couple examples of how symmetry works. So over here, I'm going to draw half of a Batman symbol. And then when you fold it in half, and then you rub it with something a little bit more stiffer, uh, as you can see, uh, it gets symmetrical on the other side. There you go. So I'm going to try a few more things. Mickey Mouse head, that's symmetrical. A flower, that's symmetrical. So I'm going to rub it. Blah, 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 blah. Then I open it, and ta-da! See, it opens up. So I'm going to try a couple more so you guys understand the concept of symmetry. So there's a heart. Um, and here's the concept of what we're trying to do right now is, that, is uh, bugs, because bugs are all symmetrical, or the majority of them, I should say. So here's a ladybug. Here's a butterfly. Um, let's try another one. Let's try, um, or let me try to invent my own bug over here. I guess like a little bumblebee. All right, so I'm going to rub this one over here. See? Uh, ladybug is nice and symmetrical. The uh, butterfly is nice and symmetrical. You got to fix it on the other side once you start rub uh, once you <laughs> finish rubbing it. So it's that. And then last but not least, there's the bee. So uh, there's other uh, animals that you guys can um, make symmetrical. You just got to figure out which is uh, right for you. So when it comes to this project, um, you just have to fold this really big piece of paper in half, and then you're gonna trace it with this oil pastel. Don't use chalk pastel. Has to be oil pastel. Um, it just has this nice consistency with it that make it uh, mirror properly. So when you're done drawing half the bug, all you gotta do is fold it in half and then rub it with something a little more stiff to make it transfer to the other side, such as um, a glue stick cap, a marker cap, anything like that. So right now I'm still <laughs> designing the other side using my uh, oil pastels. Let's give it more detail, some patterns, uh, some stripes, and so on. And I'm about to be done right about now. So over here, I'm going to start rubbing it. I think I use a little uh, wooden tool over here. You can use anything you want really, just don't use your finger because it's you need some more harder pressure, something with a little more uh, stiffness. So you can see it's starting to transfer over. You want to press really hard, as hard as you can, holding the pepper nice and uh, holding the paper nice and steady so you don't rip the paper by accident because, uh, you know, it is paper. But um, there we go. And uh, the whole thing won't transfer completely. As you can see, it's kind of faded. That's when you go in and go back on the other side and then at least try to trace what you just tried to copy. So that way it's nice and symmetrical on both sides uh, just by tracing what you just, uh, just rubbed on the other side. So there we go. So um, as I try to finish this bug, you can see it start to take form. And it's completely symmetrical. It looks awesome. And all that's left to do, to do is to, to paint it. So I'm going to do some watercolor. The reason why I chose watercolor instead of acrylic is because it's a little bit more lighter and it resists the um the oil pastels a little bit better so you can see i'm trying to do this little fading effect with like darker and lighter colors um just trying to use as much color as i can red here green there black there and so on because i could try to finish off this bug try to make it a little bit more cool as you notice i'm trying to make the, the painting symmetrical on both sides as well as i do the blue on one side and then the blue on the other on the other wing and uh you don't want to keep up the symmetrical thing going on and you see i'm trying to like wet the paper because i'm about to do this little fading thing with the green and the, uh, the yellow. I'm gonna let that sit, and then you can see as uh, this painting is sped up, you can see how it's starting to blend together along with this bottom part over here. There we go, and you see as it dries, it starts to look, take form of this kind of like little tie-dye formation. That's kind of what I was going for in this picture. So right now, I'm just gonna put in the drying rack because uh, we're about to do more stuff to it. There we go. But once it dries, uh, we can take it out in a little bit right about now. So it's a little dry, you can see uh, the tie-dye worked really well on that half of the wing and then the lower part of the body and it looks pretty good. So there we go. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to cut it out but I'm going to show you guys the easier way to do it. And the easier way to do it is uh, keep it folded except you have to fold it outwards this time that way you can see the bug and see where you're going. And that way you only have to cut half the bug because when you're folding it in half, as you can see, half the bug is done already. So there we go. Keep it folded. Uh, do the rest of the bug. Try to be careful, try to be uh, not as uh, quick as I am. There we go. And there we have a full bug cut out. Now I'm going to take a blank sheet of construction paper, glue my bug onto the construction paper. Um, try to do half and half. That way, because um, you, you know it's Elmer's glue and it's glue stick. It dries pretty quickly. So you want to do half the bug first. And as you can see, uh, it, it takes a little bit easier to glue it on as soon as you um, turn the paper over and try to rub it the other way. But anyways, I'm doing the other half of the bug right now. And we're almost done. Putting as much glue as I can. Fold it down. And then I'm going to flip it over. Here we go. And press on the other side so I don't ruin my painting. And then make sure I have a name and class in the back. 
but since I'm not in class, I'm just gonna put my name. There we go. So symmetry bug's done. Looks awesome. I need to glue that little like over there. I can see it hanging off. But um, that's basically it. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I have tons of more examples coming up in the uh, outro card, as you guys can see. Um, and that's basically it. If you guys want to see more videos, click the ones on the left hand. Sorry, I can't tell my left from my right. The right hand corner. And um, as always, I'll see you guys next time. I apologize for not doing videos more often. I've been so busy with stuff, wedding and uh, other things, and um, enjoying myself. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, I promise more videos will come. I apologize for the inconsistency. Hopefully I can get back on track. Anyways, here is the bug. Ah, so awesome. Anyways, okay, now I'm done. Bye-bye. <laughs>